Hello, my name is Fredrik Norrskjell. I'm res representing the Technical Research Institute of Sweden and I'm presenting or partly presenting the pilot in Probis from Bålänge and Tunabyggen. Yeah, thanks. Uh, this is um, procurement uh, in uh, renovation of uh, municipal residential building. The focus uh, in the uh, renovation is uh, energy efficiency and a better indoor climate. And um, I will skip the technical information on the building uh, by saying that the most important thing is that this is a very typical uh, Swedish type of housing. Uh, there are uh, many, many uh, buildings built in the 60s and 70s like this. So it's a very high potential for reproduction uh, of the interventions in these type of buildings. Uh, and the focus is on uh, the uh, ventilation system because it's the most uh, energy efficient intervention in these type of buildings. Um, and the process uh, from this pilot has been quite uh, changing during the other project and it's actually been three uh, iterations of the procurement with uh, three slightly different scopes. Uh, in the first uh, part of the project uh, the target was to do a full renovation with the ventilation and installment of ventilation system uh, in focus. Um, at a quite late stage there was a political decision in the municipality that changed uh, the possibilities for uh, doing the intervention in this building. So we had to go back and uh, look for a building with similar needs uh, and found one that had the need for uh, renovation of the ventilation system but with a slightly uh, more narrow scope. Um, the process uh, went forward and uh, we attempted to use life cycle costing for the different aspects of, of the building. Uh, this proved too complicated uh, and also um, life cycle costing is sometimes not uh, transparent in procurement so we foresee difficulties in um, awarding tenders uh, calculated differently so we abandoned the life cycle costing scheme. Uh, during the whole process the core criteria for the functions and the performances were the same so it was just the strategy of how to, to uh, uh, make the tender that was changing. So eventually we uh, made the full uh, tender with the prior information notice and uh, everything. Uh, but unfortunately there were no um, winning uh, bids. Uh, there were over 20 companies that downloaded the tender documentation uh, but none of them uh, fulfilled. Uh, a bid. In analyzing this uh, we realized partly this was because there was uh, a lot of competition, a lot of work for the companies. This was during the summer and uh, also our uh, tender was a little bit too risky or costly to answer. The uh, companies would have to do some calculations and planning on their own so it would be quite expensive for them to place a bid. So we took this information and the third uh, iteration we tried to lower the threshold for the procurement uh, and making it easier to, to come in with a, with a bid and we uh, reused most of, of the work and went out with a new uh, uh, tender. And this time there was even bigger interest. Uh, there were more than 23 companies downloading the, the uh, tender documents. And finally there was uh, a bid that was accepted and uh, the contracts and works uh, are, are uh, ongoing and there will be a 
pilot uh, w within this, uh, not within the project time frame, but still the pilot will be carried out after the end of the project. Um, so more on the specific uh, tender and criteria is uh, explained by my colleague in Polenia, Mr. Fares Mustafa. Let's hear it. Thank you, Fredrik. Uh, my name is Fares Mustafa. I'm working as a project leader in Borlinger Moon. I'm representing uh, as well uh, Tuna uh, Here I will give you a short overview about uh, our procurement strategy in the last phase. It was simply an open procedure with partnering concept for designing and uh, realization uh, of works. And the main focus, as uh, Frederick mentioned at the beginning, was uh, to, to procure an energy efficient uh, ventilation system in uh, three housing buildings in Borlinge in the residential area. Uh, simply, our uh, strategy based on uh, two main parts. The first one is uh, to uh, is uh, put is to put uh, is putting a max price for the for the works uh, designing and implementation, and the second one on uh, a set of uh, performance and functions criteria. And here you can see a list of the criteria related to, uh, to the procured ventilation system, uh, how uh, we uh, would like to have it. It's, um, as you can see here, we, we ask for a general description of the effort uh, solutions. We, uh, we need uh, energy efficient uh, systems uh, and other criteria related to the technical uh, parts how we can control the system, noise levels, fire protection, and so on. And on the process side, we, we have a criteria related to installation time, flexibility of the procured system, and evacuation days for the day nuts. So uh, I would like to summarize that the tendering phase uh, uh, was uh, uh, was awarded uh, and uh, it was a big interest as uh, Frederick said many uh, companies have uh, uh, have seen the or downloaded the uh, the tender documents uh, it was less risky and uh, doesn't involve higher cost for them so uh, simply uh, uh, done because uh, we could uh, realize and reform our tender documents based on outcomes from the first uh, iterate uh, from uh, the first uh, trial. And here you can see uh, our awarding procedure. We we have tried to develop uh, an innovative model for. Uh, uh, for pricing the uh, the procured uh, system, and uh, besides the price, as uh, I mentioned earlier, here uh, you can see those criteria which we we took in in consideration for eva uh, evaluation of tenders, written in uh, in a table where the uh, the companies or the contractors they need to describe their solution. Uh, according to this uh, to this uh, table, more in details uh, you can see on Tonabikin website. And here the criteria related to process, mainly uh, based on time and uh, the affected area of the uh, the building. Thank you very much. That was our presentation from Borlenis Moon and Tonabikin.